वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू न्यू एकेडमिक सेशन 22 2023 स्टार्टेड इन दिस जुलाई 2022 इन इंडिया माय बेस्ट विशेष आर विथ यू for having fruitful and uh, academic session and semesters with full happiness. Today I am going to start a new topic to all of you. I will be trying here to explain the topic so that you can have clear cut concept of that topic which can you apply practically in your practical life. So today's topic is qualitative and quantitative traits before going to that qualitative and quantitative traits we must try to understand the phenotype and genotype since we are working on plants since we are working for plant improvement since we are applying for the uh, applying the genetic principles for plant improvement. So whatever examples I will be putting in this genetics topic will be based upon the plants. So phenotype. What do you mean by phenotype? External appearance of an individual with reference to its characters or traits. Whatever character you are seeing, of course, whether it is plant or animal or human being, any, whatever characters are seen by you, this type of ear, which type of nose, which type of mouth, which type of face, which type of plant height, which type of leaf color, which type of grain type all these are external traits which you can visualize so all these traits of the individuals are called phenotype phenotype of that individual for that particular trait if you are talking about the skin color, so phenotype of the skin color. If you are talking about the plant height, plant height of the, the phenotype of the plant height of particular plant. If you are talking about the grain color, the phenotype of the grain color of the plant. So this is the phenotype and how do you get this phenotype? How do you get this phenotype? This phenotype is the result of genotype and environment. The interaction between two, then whatever the result is coming, that is called phenotype. It means whatever you are externally seeing, that is not the The total impact of the genotype. You cannot say that. That is, the phenotype is the result of genotype and environment. The interaction between two is the result. 
the result is the phenotype so on the basis of phenotype if you are selecting something you may have wrong decision so you have to have you have to know its genetic value which is heritable then if you are selecting a particular plant on the basis of its genetic value then your selection will, will be meaningful phenotypic traits as i said the plant type flower color grain type leaf color etc now you see the different characteristics of the phenotype the phenotype is the result of genotype and environment interaction which i have already said now you see the proportion of phenotype which is controlled by the genes are heritable to next gen generation or offspring but the proportion of phenotype controlled by the environment is non heritable and doesn't go to the next generation here you have to be very very careful about this the whatever you are seeing if you are seeing the plant height it is 120 cm doesn't mean its genetic value is 120 cm it is the impact of the genotype on environment if you are selecting on the basis of its phenotype only that okay i am getting 120 cm plant height i i need that so i should select it and harvest it and grow it next generation i will be getting the progeny of 120 cm no this will be misleading to you because you are selecting on the basis of phenotype so phenotype is the result of genotype and environment interaction so you have to be careful for that you have to understand the genotype of the plant for that particular trait health in plant improvement or even in annual improvement we need the heritable portion of the phenotype for improving the plant or animal or anything now you see the genotype the genetic constitution of the individual for different traits or characters the genetic constitution of the individual for different traits is called the genotype of the individual for that particular trait as well as it is the proportion of the phenotype which is heritable to the next generation or our offspring now to understand well i am putting the hypothetical example say for example we are having our very popular variety of rice hur hindu university rice 917 if it is having genotype of 100 cm plant height if grown in normal recommended soil type fertility environment it is giving 100 cm as its genotype has been said that it is having 100 cm plant height genotype so you are getting in normal situation so if it is grown in low fertility soil or environment or stressed environment it is coming to 80 cm or even lower than that doesn't mean its genotype is 80 cm so you have to be cautious for that because phenotype is the in, uh, interaction of genotype and environment now you see if you have grown the same variety in high fertility soil environment favorable environment and you have got 120 cm and you have become very enthusiastic I, i need 120 cm for my area so you are selecting that plant no because the its genetic constitution is 
100 centimeter. If you are harvesting 120 centimeter plant and if you are getting the seed, the progeny, you are growing in next generation, in normal situation, you are going to get 100 centimeter progeny. It has come down. So you, you are thinking that you are going to have the 120 centimeter progeny. No. Because that was the phenotype. The actual genotype is 100 centimeter. So in later lectures you will be understanding properly that what is uh, the genetic portion, heritable portion. Day by day we will be moving forward to discuss more. Here just only un you try to understand that selection of plants on the basis of only phenotype will be misleading without having knowledge of its genetic value for that particular trait then only we can move forward so now i will be switching to the traits qualitative and quantitative